Okay, and now, just to end, I found out that my correspondent, Hunter Foley, has snagged the great, infamous Zed Zordan off the street. And here he is with an interview. Hunter Foley here with an interview with Zed Zordan. So, when did you start playing music? Playing music? Oh, well, I haven't yet. I, I mean, I, I, sorry, I could have, but I've been busy petting this uh, cat over here. Can you see her? Here, I'll show you. See? <laughs> well, here. Oh, uh, but and since you asked here, uh, get this thing here. It, this is this is called a bass. It's it, it's like a guitar, but but made for a man. Uh. <laughs> I guess I was in the sixth grade. My band set up on on the stage that we had in in the cafeteria at, at the elementary school, and uh, we had to do three shows to get the entire student population in. Uh, it was good. We mostly did Beatles songs. Who are some of your influences? Well, I'm, I'm greatly influenced by Spinal Tap, The Ruddles, Cat and Geach and the Shrimp Shack Shooters, uh, The Monkees, The Partridge Family, you know, you know well, the giants of the industry, you know, Steel Dragon, definitely. I'm sure that a lot of us have seen your advertisements for Freaky Weasel, events and promotions. Are there any plans for you to perform at one of their concerts? Oh, I'd love to play the Freaky Weasel show. Uh, the, thi the thing is, I, ha I keep having trouble getting in. I mean, they seem to be making up excuses to keep me out. I mean, they, uh, they wouldn't let me in because I had a hat on, and it was a good hat, and I wasn't just going to toss it on the sidewalk. Then I think the next problem was that I wasn't wearing shoes, and they wouldn't let me in, you know, because I had my dog with me. And another time, I think it had something to do with the smell of the cigar I had at the time. You know, uh, <laughs> it sure wasn't a Cuban one, I can tell you that. What is the main difference between your music and that of other artists? Well, Hunter, I think the main difference between my music and that of others is, is that mine was created by me and theirs by them. What would you say is the biggest difference between your old songs and your new ones? Well, I, I guess the biggest difference between my old stuff and my new stuff is it, is really the date it was written. If someone in Hollywood were to make a movie about Zed Zordan, which actor would you choose to play you? I think Yosemite Sam would be a good choice. Are there any plans for a Zed Zordan movie? I don't know how long it'll be before a, a movie is actually released. But, um, you, you know, there, there are a lot of directors that we're considering. Well, Ron Howard seems to be everybody else's choice. Um, and, I, I mean, I can understand that. He's, he's made a lot of great movies. But, but I'm thinking that maybe we should go with a director who has more experience with intense drama. So, somebody who, who really knows how to pluck out those dark flecks of the human soul. You know, may, maybe John Carpenter, perhaps Rob Zombie. Where did you get the inspiration for the song Gunslinger? Uh, my wife's family's a bunch of outlaws, pretty much. Uh, that's been an inspiration for, for many things. Uh, the song Gunslinger is one. Uh, the alarm system we have is another. What kind of woman turns the Zed head? Well, J Jennifer Lopez, certainly. I mean, I like tacos and burritos as much as anybody. But, but mostly I'm into white women. Uh, you, you know, one green eye, one blue, about a foot tall. <laughs> do you support any particular charity? Oh, well, anything that has to do with autism, I think. You, you know, you, you'd be surprised at the, at the genius that's buried under what looks like retardation on the surface. I, I think that's an important cause. Of all the places you've toured, which city do you like best? 
<laughs> Hot Lanta. What advice do you have for young and inspiring musicians today? Stay in school. And then when you when you are ready, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't let people discourage you. Stick to your guns. And what's next for Zed Zoran? Well, I'm, I'm very personally involved in the new amazing Zordan restaurant that's being opened in Dahlonega, Georgia, uh, hopefully by Halloween. And beyond that, I, I do hope to do the Freaky Weasel show sometime in probably in late 2012. This is Hunter Foley for ZTN. Watch your step and look out for falling sky trucks. And try not to kill yourself with worry.